you'd have people saying stuff like, well, haven't you got a bird? Yeah, I've got a bird. But it's like I'm not in a relationship. No, I don't go to bed every night with my partner. Wish I could. Wish I could wake up to someone that loves me every morning. But I don't. Being in a relationship with this woman for three years. I had a kid to her. And I don't see her. And that's just another thing. And it's not like I haven't been trying. Been trying my hardest to get accommodation. Me hardest. No so I can spend more time with them. But I just can't. You're not allowed kids in here. You can't have people sleeping over in here. I can't go to Liverpool because of the social services problem. Otherwise I'd be there every day seeing me kid. But I can't. If I if I go to Liverpool and I'm spotted in the presence of my child, it goes into 50% care. In other words, the social services take 50% responsibility of my child and have a say on every decision. And I won't get a say. And that's the system. And when the system want you to fail, they go all out to make you fail and every branch of the system. Not just police, not just the corporate system. I'm talking the housing. I'm talking everything. They go all out. You know, if I walked out this door now, went into the local shopping centre, and put 10 people down in the shopping centre and then get myself put down by the police. That's the mindset, okay? Now, if all that happens, when they go through the book that they do with everyone, they will have seen that I've been into 15 or 16 medical practices around this country screaming at them that I'm going to end up doing what I've just done for years and I will have told 14 different professionals that look mate this is my intention and if it doesn't stop now it's going to get worse and not one of them stepped in to prevent it not one of them said I'm gone you need a real assessment not one of them tried or even considered taking what I was saying as truth. So I've gone in to, there's a place called a Daisy Clinic in Blackburn. And I was referred to there by the hostel that I was placed in. And that's it in Blackburn. I've been planning on going into Liverpool knocking at the front door of a particular family and putting them all in the floor since I was released from prison. I need help. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Sounds bad, doesn't it? But I all end up dealing families responsible for what's happened with me since my release from custody. I all end up dealing families responsible for the pain and the trauma that I've been living in since my release from custody. And I won't bat a thin high lid if it's time for me to go and take one of them with me. Do you think I'm just going to end my life on the back of all life put me through? It's not my early years that's made me... It's not the prison that's made me... 
It's since I've been released from custody that's made me. And the people that have been targeting me since I've been released from custody. And I know exactly where they live. You see them? They're there every day. I've only got to be there once. And you can ring them, please. You stealing families in the city of Liverpool, you understand how much risk you're at. Trust me, there's two families in the city of Liverpool that I would go to their front door tomorrow and wig everyone in the house. No ifs or buts. And I know everything about you. Where your kids go to school, where your daughter's little business is. I know everything. I've only got to turn up to a few gaffes and your family's damaged for the rest of your life. I will take a chunk out of your family tree that it'll never recover. There'll be that much of a gap, you'll have to start a new family tree. I'll take the eldest and the youngest. In between. You won't have a family left. And the ones that do survive will cry their eyes out till they're dead. That's defeating the object of your message though. Be a hypocrite if I pick a weapon up and do it. But my advice has always been, yous don't live this life I'm living. So it won't go against the message, will it? As that, you choose a life, not a knife. Don't leave this life, because it doesn't leave you alone. If you're in it early, get out in early. Don't think you're getting out in 10 years. Easy. And the message has always been put out like that. Always. And I've always made sure I've put it across like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Regardless of how I go out, it can be with a quiet bang, it can be with a big bang. The message is going to survive. The message will go on without me. I've always known in the back of my head, you know, I'm probably going to have to do what I set out to do nine years ago. I'm going to have to do it. Got to go and do what I've been planning for 10 years. And unless someone comes in and intervenes, it's gonna happen. And I'm not sitting here lying. I'm not sitting here trying to gain any sort, because you don't gain nothing out of this. You don't get no rewards for what I'm speaking about now. Nothing. You don't wanna hear what's in this head of mine. Honest. It'll put up your mate.